Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here today for my Capricorns? Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Capricorns, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides, Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Capricorns, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for my Capricorns, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Okay, so let's see here. So we have the Six of Wands. We have the Lover's Card, Gemini Energy. We have the... Nine of Cups, and we have the Three of Swords. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Capricorns, please. Clarity, Guidance. Okay, so we've got the Strength card, Leo Energy, and we have the Four of Swords. We have Temperance, Sagittarian Energy. Five of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. Hierophant, Taurus Energy, Five of Cups, Six of Swords in the reverse. Under the deck, we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces Energy. So, Capricorn. Guys, I'm feeling... Give me one moment here. I feel like there's a sense of okay, how do I want to put this? I feel like there was a relationship that came apart. Somebody chose someone or something else. For instance, you know. It could just be that someone said, listen, I got to focus on school right now, or I got to focus on work right now, or I got to focus, you know, I want to go be with someone else right now. The problem here, well, not the problem, the good news is, is that someone kept the faith. Someone, even though they were left out in the cold, even though they were left desolate, even though they were left with nothing, Someone here knew exactly what they wanted. They knew exactly what they wanted to manifest. And even though, uh, you know, God is close to the brokenhearted, right? You know what I'm saying? And even though this person suffered and suffered a lot, this person kept the faith. They kept the faith. Even though there were so many times where someone here wanted to withdraw, there was so much disappointment Okay, this person feels like the situation, if they just waited long enough, it would heal and this person would come back. Someone here has a lot of love, Capricorn, and someone here is mastering that emotion. Someone here is living in the past. You know what I'm saying? If they look at the current future, I mean, jealousy and, you know, they get upset and there's a lot of upset feelings. But because the present is so... Uh, painful. Someone here is just living in the past. So someone here is holding on Capricorn. And I don't know if that's you or if that is your person, but there is someone here that is, you know, if they look at their situation right now in the present moment, it's just too painful. You see what I'm saying? It's just too painful. So this person just lives in the memory. And they're confident. They're confident that one day this will come back together. So that could be you. Could be your person. Let's see. Spirit, tell me about the Six of Wands, please, for Capricorn. Tell me about the Six of Wands for Capricorn. Tell me about the Six of Wands. So we have the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. I feel like... Someone's like, listen, 
I can live in this world of I don't know what's going to happen. Or I can be positive that if I just give my hope and my faith to the situation, it'll come out on top. Or this could be a situation of someone appearing to be confident when on the inside they're scared because, you know, it's not being reciprocated. Five of Wands in the reverse and Temperance. The Lover's card and the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone here is trying not to show jealousy. They're trying not to fight. They're not trying not to cause drama. Um, I feel like there is a situation where someone is perhaps being unfaithful or non-committal because they've got other things to do. Okay, it doesn't always have to be that someone is sleeping with somebody else. All right. Uh, it could just be that maybe this person is focused on school or work or traveling or doing other things. Okay. And their, their focus is not on a relationship right now. But I feel like someone is putting up a brave face. Even though someone doesn't know what's going to happen. Even someone doesn't know if, you know, there's there's equal reciprocity here. Is that how you say it? Equal given. You know, if someone loves them back. And I feel like... Um, with temperance and the five of wands, someone is trying to be patient. They're trying to stay calm. They're not letting their jealousy get to them. They're not letting their their um, uh, anger get to them. Um, tell me about the five of pentacles, please, spirit. Five of pentacles. The justice card. Libra energy. I feel like even though someone is about to get left behind, they feel that karma will turn their way, that they feel like someone's going to leave, face their karma, like you'll see, you'll be back. You know what I'm saying? You'll see, you'll be back. Nine of cups, please. The nine of cups, the nine of cups for Capricorn, please. Nine, ooh, okay. Page of wands and the seven of pentacles. I feel like all someone talks about is the past. Someone, all they talk about is the past and when they were happy. Because with the Five of Cups, in the current moment, there's just so much disappointment. Or someone does this to make the other person feel guilty. Um, tell me about the Three of Wands, the Four of Pentacles. This person does not want to let go of those memories and they yearn for that person to come back. Three of Swords. And we've got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse and the Fool in the reverse. And it's heartbreaking because this new beginning is not happening. This new beginning is not taking place. Someone is not coming back around and it hurts. It hurts, but still they're not letting go. Tell me about the Hierophant. Someone's still holding on to faith. They're still committed to this. Oh, Four of Wands. Yeah, Four of Wands and the Hierophant. Someone here has complete faith that this marriage will stay together, that this relationship will stay together, that this will end in a, having a family or living together. Tell me more about this Hierophant and this Four of Wands. Give me one more on this Hierophant and this Four of Wands, please. The King of Pentacles. Yep. See, king to the queen of pentacles, a true pair. So this could be husband and wife. This could be mom and dad. Um, the point is, is that one person has gone off to go do something else, be with someone else. I mean, it really does look like a third party. I can't lie. It does look like someone went off and chose another lover. Okay. But it doesn't have to be. It could be that someone here decided that they want to be single. They wanted to pursue school. They wanted to pursue a modeling career. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? They just wanted to do something different. But one person here is very solid. They're still living in this. The strength card. The strength card for my Capricorns, please. Strength card for my Capricorn, please. Strength card. Two of Wands. So even though there's so much distance, and even though it hurts, someone is staying strong. They, they have a vision for the future. Someone here is staying strong. Five of Cups. And the five of swords in the reverse, someone is refusing to give up. No matter how much the disappointment, the, no matter how badly they're disappointed, every single day that goes by, four of swords, four of swords, please, for my Capricorns, please. Four of swords for my Capricorns. The judgment card, Sagittarian energy. Someone has made the decision to wait, and wait is what they're doing. <laughs> That's it. Six of swords in the reverse. Six of and the Eight of Pentacles, someone feels like someone's going to come back around to work on this. It just, 
Don't know when. <laughs> I just don't know when. But I know they'll be back. Yeah. I know. Like someone's just in this energy of even though all odds are against this person, they're still maintaining that hope. And that's it. They don't see anything else happening like they don't they just don't see it ending any other way spirit what messages do we have for my capricorns please what other messages do we have for my capricorns please heartbroken yep heartbroken deeply hurt sad separation breakup feeling lost grieving and mourning we have girl with a snake empath narcissist paradigm being charmed or used to enable boundaries i feel like um What else do we have for my Capricorns, please? Boat. I feel like someone charmed. I, I feel like someone, how can I put it? Someone is hurt because I feel like it's possibly someone they know that took their person away. So if this is a third party person, okay, I feel like it was a friend or somebody close to you that your person ran off with, okay? If that's not the case, then I feel like um, someone here maybe feels taken advantage of. Like, for instance, um, you know, you gave a lot to one connection and then this person chose someone else over you. And now you're like, no, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to stay loyal to this because I gave a lot to this connection. Okay. I refuse to accept the fact that I was used or that, you know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like with both receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on and closure issues, spirit is telling you it's time to move on or vice versa for the cross watcher. But I don't feel like that's happening. We've got coffee cup meeting and conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted and friendship and then we've got runner runner in a codependent relationship fear of intimacy and listening to ego i feel like one person wants to meet up one person wants to work this out one person wants to talk the other person is running away one person does not want this and one person does spirit what messages do we have here for my capricorns please Messages for my Capricorns, please. So we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Religious factors. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your... Okay, so let me tell you what's happening here, guys. Is that someone here is not trusting in the divine they're trusting in their own judgment okay they're not letting go and letting god what they're doing is they're saying no i want this and this is what I want. Instead of saying, listen, you know, maybe my soulmate is someone else. Maybe God has something better in store for me. Maybe the divine has some, you know, trick up their sleeve. Something's going to, maybe, you know, one door closes, uh, you know, one opens type of thing. Someone doesn't have that open mind frame here. Someone's like, no, this is what is for me. And that's it. Do you understand? Someone here is very just obsessed with this is what is meant for me. And that's it. Do you understand? And it could go no other way. Um, and I feel like Spirit is saying that someone needs to get closure. Someone here needs to move on because I don't think that that's the case. I don't, I don't see this person actually coming back to reconcile. I see one person holding on and one person letting go. Okay. All right, guys. I love you and take care. Bye.